Hey friends, this is Brooklyn from Let's Talk Raw. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome. Let's get straight to it. Opinions on mask, no mask, and if you feel like it's political or just common sense or just kindness. Also, I'd like to know your feelings on the rise in crime. It kind of feels like it's a perfect storm. Comment below what you think that perfect storm might be. My prediction, lack of resources. Also, the rise in domestic violence has been 67% across America. What do you think about that? Do you guys want to know the story behind my voice? Um, when I was 17, I guess it's emotional when people make fun of it. <clears throat> I really want to talk about the rise in sexual abuse. When I was 11, I was raped. So, you know, my biggest fear when quarantine first started was children um, that were getting fed at school. My biggest fear was them not getting fed. That's still a huge fear. Just want to put that out there in, in your community, see what you can do to help. Okay, so this is something that's very concerning. The rise in sexual abuse has gone up 22%, and that's only the ones that are calling the hotline. This hotline is RAIN. RAIN is a national hotline for sexual abuse for children from minors under 18. You can call and then find out what the resources are in your community closest to you. Imagine the number that aren't calling. I forgot to say, please subscribe and hit that like button. Notification is going to be annoying, but I can assure you, I'm only coming on about once a week, so you won't hear from me but about that much. I hope to see you guys in the comments and hear from you. I asked a lot of questions in this video, and I really want to know your input. Quarantine started somewhere in March, right? By the end of March, the rise was 22% increase of monthly calls, calls, excuse me. And so rain is more of a, a hotline. The way you can help right now, first of all, is prayer, universe-wise, just you put out good vibrations. But also call your local child advocacy and ask ways you can help to volunteer. Um, you can be part of the hotline at home and take phone calls and then report them to the local office that they'll give you all the information. They most likely will do a background check, you know, ask you some questions. But right now they're, they're in such need of help. Uh, it'll probably go pretty quick. That's how you can help. Like, well, how do you help with that? Like, you know, and they just sort of kind of bump it off. There are ways to help. Uh, you know, being a part of the hotline. If you are able to financially uh, help, you know, put a child in a safe home, if you are able to foster. Uh, so if you're in the position to foster, I saw on the news, you guys, and I wish I had his name, I don't. This just popped in my head and I thought this was really crazy. So everybody's doing the YouTube drama again and all this stuff. I'm not, because I don't know much about it. I'll watch a video here and there, but I don't know much about it. I want to get to the nitty gritty. And yes, yeah, some people could view some of my talking is gossipy, but I do want to get down to the grit, whether it's pop culture, or this type of news. I went to school for broadcast journalism, so I kind of feel like this is my outlet <laughs> since I'm not able to do that right now. I'm not really into YouTube news. However, the Maya Stouffer in Huxley, where's Huxley? So there is a man who adopted, uh, somewhere in the Midwest, who adopted uh, some kids he had fostered, and he has two boys, and they both had a trauma in their background, and one of them is on the spectrum. And he said on the news that he was looking for Huxley and would like to home him and they can't find him. So if anybody, you know, if I do get out, I'm a small channel, um, but if I do get out there and you guys have heard about um, where Huxley is, please let me know. You can also uh, reach me at bowelderbrooklyn at gmail.com. I'm always available to talk about things for encouragement, depression, anxiety, things like that. I have a lot of people I'm talking to right now and, I, and I'm always welcoming more. It's, it's, it's really scary to be alone right now. You know, a lot of people are losing assets and losing their ability to, they're having to move back home as adults with their children. If I have two girls, two women I talk to that, I think they might be getting a divorce. You know, and what I say to them is this is really just magnified what was probably already there and just made it worse. So, so don't make any decisions, you know. There's things that my dad told me that really can help you in life. Don't make decisions sad or angry or even happy. Don't make promises when happy. Don't make decisions when angry, sad, and certainly not when we're in a pandemic. That's pretty crazy, right? Um, so let me know your thoughts on the rise in just about everything that you can think of, um, particularly domestic violence and the rise in also, what do you think about the children witnessing these things? What do you think we can do to help? However, if you are a foster parent, you can, of course, get the child tested. And it's better if the child waits for seven to ten days in quarantines than not have a safe place to go. Because if they're in a home that wants them, 
and they get one-on-one -on -one attention, even if it's not particular counseling or therapy, um, or even talking about the particular incidents that might have happened, whether it was domestic violence or the parents relapsed or sexual abuse, any of these things that are rising and children are involved. The one-on-one -on -one just normalcy is almost more healing uh, in a lot of ways than, than therapy in a group home because they do provide those things in, in, in decent homes. They, in group homes, they provide um, social workers that do counsel in, in certain ways. And I know that because in child advocacy, uh, we were a part of that program, that talk therapy, that calming them my dogs. <laughs> Working in child advocacy, we did work a lot with social workers. So I do know the process of social workers going to homes and, and, and trying to give the kids one-on-one uh, -on -one attention. But it is clinical in the sense that, however you want to put it, uh, business-like, whatever, because they do need to get the information and write it down. So it doesn't feel like one-on-one -on -one interaction, one-on-one -on -one attention, even though it is, it feels more clinical to the child and it feels more like a grilling uh, questionnaire, you know, than, you know, sitting at a round table eating dinner with these people that have chosen to let you stay with them, heal and for you to be in a safe place. Let me know your thoughts. I don't just, this just struck me and I just wanted to come to you guys. I mean, if, if uh, prayer and putting good vibes in the universe, uh, good frequencies is what you are able to do right now, that's amazing. And that those energies definitely do, do help and you might be like this weirdo. I believe in that. Be a part of the hotline. Uh, just know you can choose hours. So if you're not willing to do the overnight or the early morning or whatever, the, the first start is you can go to RAIN, which is R A I N N. Um, that is a universal hotline, and they can send you to uh, what you can do to help. If you can answer the phone to one of these children that's scared, you just talk to them. Uh, you have no idea how much that can help. I remember when I was listened to for the first time after I was raped, not, no, it wasn't that big of a deal, or oh, it's over now, just get over it. I mean, listen to, always, always have the intention of belief and understanding. So if you can have that open-mindedness and just right away believe what they're saying and, and do, you know, you're willing to make the phone calls to get them, you know, out and, you know, obviously tell them, so this is, this is what happens. You'll be removed from the home and go to a group home. And then, you know, this is how it works. Um, let them know that so they're not afraid, but also let them know that that is much better than more trauma. Um, also, if you are going to help, please just forget my arm, just get over it, okay? <laughs> if you are going to help, use words like you've been through trauma, you are entitled, and you are entitled to these feelings. These are valid, and I am going to validate how you feel. And this is, this is absolutely brave of you. This is courageous of you to make this phone call. Use words like courageous, brave, you don't deserve it, you did nothing wrong. I, you validate their feelings, tell them you believe them. These are things that could save their life later on. Uh, interestingly enough, when strangers talk to you and tell you these things, the most important thing is to let these children know they're brave. It's not their fault. Also, please make sure they're not in any immediate danger. Again, the hotline is RAIN and it is national and they will lead you to what is in your county to help. So see what you can do in your community. Uh, see what you can do about food banks, uh, about the, the hotlines for anything from suicide to sexual abuse. This is just Googling what's on the rise since quarantine. Also, don't forget, I'd like to know your opinion on masks. Is it political to you or personal? Please leave it in the comments. Oh, there's my son. <laughs> Art, I had something that is all I got for you guys. I thought it was valid information. I hope that it was. And I hope that I have some helpers out there who feel a tug at their heart to do what they can. And I'll just Google, find out what you can do. And if you can be a voice on a phone, and validate child's feelings, whatever age they are. Help is just a phone call away, truly, it really is. Um, if you yourself are alone or going through something, you can email me about thebrooklyn at gmail.com and we can talk and get you through whatever you're going through. It's, it's, I'm not a doctor clinically, I am going back to school for counseling, um, but I've been through a hell of a lot. I'm a good listener and I feel that I have very good therapized advice because I've been super therapized. <laughs> 
please go follow me at Raw Talk underscore Brooklyn um, on Instagram. I said I'm again. Please go to my TikTok, Brooklyn underscore Bowser27, and then BowserBrooklyn at gmail.com. So I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and safe. If you are going through anything, depression, abuse, anything, and you see this video, please get in touch with me. Email me, DM me, whatever you feel most comfortable doing. Also, if you don't think this disease or virus is, uh, you know, what it is, go to TikTok and, uh, or even Google and put in teenagers with corona uh, sharing their journey. Uh, it's, it's really intense because, you know, we think it's just the elderly or people with underlying issues like my daughter. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, you guys. My daughter, I think that's why my views aren't, you know, as high as I'd like because of my voice. There's that in the comments, too. It's probably really annoying, right? I, just, I can't. Do you guys want to know the story behind my voice? Um, when I was 17, I tried to get... I'm just going to tell you the story behind my voice because there is a story behind this. It's emotional and people make fun of it. <clears throat> I had my stomach pumped. In the ambulance, they stuck this tube down my throat and they were jabbing it and jabbing it and ended up scarring my throat. It's that just to like let it go and just be used to it and move on. Uh, it kind of sucks with the YouTube career, but um, I do appreciate you guys that you do watch. Um, even though my views are only a couple of thousand, you guys are watching this all the way through and I'm super grateful. Um, I did it again. Please subscribe, hit that like button. Notifications can be super annoying, but if you want to tap that bell, go right ahead. I am so appreciative, I'm so grateful. So do what you can in your community. Be a part of the solution. Stay healthy and safe. I'll talk to you soon. Later, skiers.